Hey, Rockford Jake here. Today I'm joined by Addie and Tim from Barnstormer Distillery. How's it going, you two? Really good. 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 So for those that have caught um, our videos in the past, they see a very familiar background. But for those that aren't familiar with you, just tell me a real quick synopsis of Barnstormer Distillery, and then we'll talk about the exciting new projects that are going on here at your location. <laughs> So we are Barnstormer Distillery. We're located in Rockford, Illinois, uh, about two miles west of the airport. Um, and we make whiskey, rum, uh, bourbon. We just came out with a bourbon uh, finished, finished in rum, rum barrels. Nice. Um, and then we also have uh, our original products, which are vodka. We've got a cucumber vodka. That vodka, uh, we actually use the cucumbers that we grow here on the farm in the cucumber vodka that you taste. So it's super fresh and super local. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and, and then we do a traditional vodka as well. So we've got all kinds of spirits that you can find um, in retail stores right now, uh, located all over the Rockford area, um, some in the Chicago area and down in the Southern area of Illinois. Very cool. Yeah. And uh, those have probably seen your bottles or your beverages listed in some local bars, like you said, some local retailers. Uh, but there is a whole lot going on here. You just launched a Kickstarter. And before we dive into um, the details of the Kickstarter campaign, I thought it'd be cool just kind of take a little tour and cast a vision as far as what's going to be happening here on location at Barnstormer and what you're trying to do with all your projects. Well, we would love to give you a little tour of what we have. So we are much more than a distillery. We actually are in a working farm. Um, and uh, when you come out, uh, we're hoping to be open on June 4th of this year. Uh, we are uh, working on all of our planting right now. Uh, and we are uh, growing uh, most of our cucumbers, tomatoes, peppers. We've got all kinds of vegetables and herbs that we're growing. Uh, just waiting for you. Yeah. So. <laughs> and so like you had mentioned with your cucumber vodka that the yes. cucumbers are um, raised, grown right here on the farm on premise. And that's going to be true of kind of all the different types of ingredients and stuff that you could put in your cocktails. Yeah. So the really fun thing about what we're doing is uh, all of our bars uh, for our bartenders will be set up. The start uh, of this year's cucumbers. The start of this year's cucumbers. Uh, they, need, they need watered. Um, uh, so we've got all kinds of herbs and vegetables that will that we're starting actually right now. Uh, we call this our pump house or our seed house. Mm -hmm. And then once it is uh, warm enough, um, we actually transplant all of those into our high tunnel. Yeah. So we just uh, we just plowed the high tunnel yesterday. Uh, we'll be laying down some of the fabric so it will stop um, weeds, and um, and then uh, we'll start planting cucumbers, tomatoes. Uh, like I said, Later peppers. This week. Yep. Um, tomatillos. A uh, whole list of goodies. A whole list of goodies, and then outside, uh, Tim did a uh, one one row plow for me so that we can do flowers and all kinds of pretty things so that you can look at. Now, I do know it looks like a hot mess out here. <laughs> it looks a little bit of a hot mess, but... It, it is a hot mess out here, It's going to be but... a busy two months for me. <laughs> yeah, so you guys are getting ready to open here in June. And Correct. so before that happens, there's a whole lot of work that needs to be done uh, because really the goal is to create a destination place for people inside and out of Rockford. Absolutely. So we are more than just a distillery. Uh, we really do want to... Um, inspire people to come out, relax. We are close enough to the city where you can come out several times a week, or, <laughs> or you can come out, you know, you know every weekend. Um, or if you're far enough away, you know, it's still kind of a, it's a close drive for all of our Chicago folks. If you're headed down to Galena, we're right in the middle. We're right off of 20 on route two. So we're an easy kind of jaunt over. Yep. Um, and for all of our Northwest, South and East uh, family, you know, we'd love for you to kind of come out. We're going to have events. So let's talk about events. Yeah. So one of the <laughs> one of the plans for the space is um, to use it as an event venue. Yes. Yeah, so we will be an uh, primarily an outdoor venue. Um, everything that we do will be outdoors. And so behind me, um, 
because we're in spring cleanup, uh, we took out uh, four apple trees that were not doing really well. Um, and we did that to make room for the 1200 square foot fence or tent that we will have um, in behind the field. Or Very nice. In the field. Yeah, um, right behind, behind us here. Yeah, behind the apple tree line. Um, and so it really does allow you to kind of come out uh, when it gets a little bit chilly. We'll, uh, we'll have a bonfire out here. We've got a beautiful grape arbor bef behind Jake um, that is gorgeous. So great and picturesque. Yeah. Uh, so you can come out, you can tour uh, and go through our greenhouse. It will be open for you to go through and kind of see uh, what we have going on. In the morning, uh, our bartenders will pick fresh herbs and vegetables to make uh, artesian uh, cocktails. Yeah, so um, it really is like a farm to glass we, we kind will, of experience. We will have a, an option for a jalapeno vodka where we'll sell you a bottle of uh, vodka, an empty bottle, and we'll, you'll go into the greenhouse and pick uh, a couple of jalapenos and infuse your own uh, jalapeno vodka on the spot. Yep. Super fun. And so we have the tent that's going to be going in here for all of your tent type activities. And then there's another space just down the way for all sorts of other fun games and excitement. Yeah, so we're actually working on clearing another area um, on our property, which is still near the distillery and near where our um, high tunnel and our seed house is. Cool. Let's take a little walk and we'll showcase it when we get there. By the time you get here, uh, all of the trees that we cut down uh, should be cleared and cleaned up. Uh, we brought in the log splitter, so we're always working on something here. <laughs> yeah, it's a, a never-ending project. <laughs> always. So, yeah. And so uh, what's going to go on in here? So what's happening in here is we are going to build um, some chapel-like structures in between uh, the walnut trees. Um, so it really does feel like... Its own space. Its yeah. own space and very chapel-esque. Um, and then when you come on in here, once it's all cleaned up, of course, <laughs> um, we will have movie night in here. We will do some games. Uh, we've got some a couple of events that are gonna take place. We're gonna utilize this space as well, um, along with the tent. Um, but this will be our uh, white summer event will happen back here. Um, for those of you who don't know what a white summer is, it is back in the 1920s. Um, it was where you got to uh, where you got to uh, play croquet and uh, big board games. Uh, we'll have big Jenga nice. uh, stuff. So it'll be really fun, very interactive um, and uh, and enjoy a cocktail while you're doing it. Yeah, so. absolutely. And all of that is set in this background of this wonderful farm with the trees. I know that it's, you know, early spring, so the prairie hasn't come up yet, but uh, you have prairie space, beans, flowers. Um, yeah, so Tim, Tim actually yesterday uh, just tilled two areas uh, that we are going to be growing. We'll have a you pick bean section. So once the beans come up in mid to late summer, um, you can come out and pick your own beans. So fun for the kids to do. Yeah. Uh, and then on the other side of that, we've got about 300 grapevines um, that we may do, depending on if we get grapes this year, uh, we, may do, <laughs> we may try some grappa or we may try something um, distilled wise. We can't do wine. Um, but beyond that, all of the dead area, we planted um, seeds, uh, flower, prairie flower seeds. So that will be in bloom by the time that you get here. Uh, Tim just did a plot for me uh, so that we can do zinnias. Um, Very cool. And zinnias bloom all summer long and up until frost. So we'll have color uh, all over here. Um, and when we do a movie night, 
Uh, we'll watch the sunset and you'll be able to see the zinnia patch. You'll be able to see the prairie. Uh, we've got about... It'll just be a magical experience. It will be yeah. magical. And all with a cocktail in your and hand. And all with a cocktail in your hand. <laughs> um, That's amazing. And so there is uh, one last piece of the project, though, that is yet to be done. Wonderful. And that's the that's the piece that we need the community's help with. And so let's bop on over there and we'll tell you all about it. All right. And last but not least, and this is not the very exciting part of the project, but the, it's the is, most important. This is the most important part of the project. It's what gets you up here and to experience all of the fun and exciting things that we have up here. So you guys launched a Kickstarter. We did launch a Kickstarter to help fund um, the project that is getting access to Illinois too, right? Yes. So that you can be allowed to open up to the public. Correct. Correct. Yeah. So we're, we're, uh, we need to open up uh, and we need to widen it so that it's safe for all of our customers to come in and out at the same time, um, which is not very fun. <laughs> it's not super exciting. It's not. No. But if you liked all the things that we talked about for the rest of the tour, this is the most important part because without the safe entrance and exit, um, the city won't let you guys open, right? Correct. And so yep. you currently have a Kickstarter. At the time of this filming, you're at about 33, 35% funded. Mm -hmm. um, we are. But you guys need all the help you can get from the community. We are. And I would say, so what you can do for us if you can't afford, and we've got some really cool rewards out there. We've got a gin class. We've got a cocktail class. Uh, fill um, a barrel. Fill a like, barrel. Yeah. I mean, there are there are some really fun rewards. How Rewards. However, if you know, you're strapped like most of us during COVID and you can't really afford anything. One dollar goes would, a long way. Would go a long way. And to spread the word, spread the word to people that you think may like it, may like to come up. Um, we are more than just a distillery. Uh, we really are a family friendly environment because of the farm and because of the activities that we have going on or will have going on. Yeah. Um, so. And your destination. So absolutely. It creates something super unique for Rockford and, and brings a draw for those outside to come into our city and have some fun. Yeah. And, it's, and spend some money. <laughs> yeah. And ab absolutely. I mean, Rockford doesn't have anything like this that I'm aware of. So um, with a distillery and a farm and uh, event space. Yeah. So super cool. And we're really excited to have you guys here June 4th. Um, just check out the Kickstarter uh, site, Barnstormer Dist Projects, Barnstormer Distillery. Uh, and you can go on, if you click on back this project, uh, you can see all of the rewards. Um, and like I said, even if it's just for a dollar, that'd be great. Goes a long thank ways. You. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, thank you so much, the two of you, for taking the time to go ahead and give me the tour. And thank you, Rockford, for tuning in. Um, if all this sounds as amazing to you as it does to me, definitely head on over to their Kickstarter page. And even if it's just a dollar, a dollar goes a long ways a when we get the whole community way. behind it. So I uh, just want to give a real quick shout out to all of our business sponsors and our backers that make content like this possible. It's because of their support and support from people like Barnstormer Distillery that I'm able to bring all this Rockford positive content to you for free through the power of the internet. So thank you so much to them and we'll catch you on the flip side. Bye Rockford. <laughs>